So let's take a quick look at how you get the back off the Acer Aspire V15 uh, Nitro. We've got the black edition here. And what I've done is I've actually already removed the, screw the uh, screws at the back. Power is out and we are shut down. So all these screws have been removed, including the two at the bottom. Now the trick is to work it from the front to the back and just lever it up just carefully with your fingers on the sides all the way towards the back and then when, you, when you've got it mostly mostly open towards this point you need to just turn it round and move to this direction because it comes off fairly easily when it's this way up and then this section comes off. Now what you've got is four cables that need to be taken care of. There's one here which you immediately access but there's three more underneath here. Be careful don't pull the keyboard up before you've taken care of those cables. So this is just a standard header there which you can remove and then I'm not sure if you can see under there but we've got one, two, three to remove there. What I'm going to do is going to remove this one first because it comes out from the front quite easily and that's that one taken out there. And then what we'll do is just spin round to the back and then I'll lift that up. You should be able to see that we've got this one and this one here. So I'm just going to pull this header off by just sliding the connector towards me and then the ribbon cable pops out. And then this one is a matter of just flipping up that connector and then sliding that one out as well. And then you'll be able to move that keyboard away, clear off the main board. So let's take a look at what we've uh, got. You can see they've got two drive positions on this. We've got a two and a half inch SATA drive. It's got a terabyte spinning drive in there. And then we've got an M2 position here, SATA connected, I believe, with a, uh, in this case, a 256 gig SSD and the operating system is installed that. Access to the battery is available from the front. Access to the Wi-Fi module is available from the front. But the two banks of DDR4 are not accept, ex, uh, accessible here. Um, so if you're thinking of upgrading RAM on one of these, although in this model both the banks are populated, you will have to consider removing that main board to get un underneath. There's no access port underneath, so you can't easily upgrade RAM on this one. There's the M2 RAM slot again. See one of the fans up there. And then we'll move over to the other side and you can see the one terabyte uh, position at the bottom there and the fan at the top. Those are those two headers that you need to take care of uh, as the last two ribbon cables. There's the first of the ribbon cable connectors that you need to remove. And then at the back there, let's just go back to that position there. There's the header that you remove when the uh, main casing has been removed. So let's put it back together now. We're going to take the, uh, carefully take the keyboard. Of course, there's the uh, mouse pad, touchpad in there as well. And I'm just going to start from the other side. I'm just going to lay that on the top, turn that round. We've got two positions to take care of first. This, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to front. So this isn't easy. You'll need to just slide that connector out, push the ribbon cable in, and then close the connector once that is in from that side and from that side. That's nice and tight. And the one at the back there, which you can't see probably, is easier. It slides down. Let's make sure the connector's up. Slide in. Push the connector down. Those That's those two there. We'll turn around. We'll go to that third cable here. Again, lift the cable, lift the connector, slide the con cable underneath, and then close the connector down like that. 
then we can close the case put that header back on at the top there just push that in and then you need to add the silver finish the spire section push round the outsides at this point just close the lid turn it this way up because you want to push this close from here and that just pushes in like that and then again you can work around the outsides and make sure that everything is snapped in before you screw in just check that everything is flush and what I tend to do before I put the screws in is just to give it a quick boot see that everything is working probably have to put the cable in the power here because we haven't got much power left in the device and that should boot there let's check that boots into windows so you know the two discs are working check the mouse pad and that's fine turn it off to screw before you turn it over and screw in the um, final screws and that's it that's the Acer Spy V50 Nitro Black Edition case removal a look at the uh, two storage bays the battery and the lack of access to the memory upgrade